Hi, I'm Gail Locke McDowell, author of Cracking the Coding Interview. Today we're going to talk about linked lists. A linked list is a very simple data structure. It's essentially just a sequence of elements where each element links to the next element, which links to the next element. A linked list can contain pretty much any type of data, strings, characters, numbers. The elements can be unsorted or sorted. They can contain duplicate elements or all unique elements. One of the things that distinguishes a linked list from an array, which shares many of the same properties, is that in an array, the elements are indexed. That is, if you want to get to the fourth element, you can just, boom, instantly do that. In a linked list, though, you have to start with the head and work your way through until you get to the fourth element. That takes linear time, so it's quite a bit slower. So why would anyone use such a data structure? Well, the advantage of a linked list is that insertions and deletions can be very quick. If you just want to insert an element right into the beginning of the linked list, that can be done in constant time. If you want to delete an element from the beginning of the linked list, again, constant time. So that's very, very fast. Of course, if you want to append an element to the end of the linked list, that might require walking all the way through the linked list until you get to the very last element and then inserting the element there. That will take linear time. So it all depends really on what you're looking for. Now there's one other thing we should talk about before we dive into the code. And that is this alternate version called a doubly linked list. A doubly linked list is just like a singly linked list. But in addition to each element having a link to the next element, each element also links to the previous element. For certain operations, that can be quite handy. Now that we've covered the basics of a linked list, let's take a look at what the code would look like. Implementing a linked list is reasonably straightforward. We just need a class node that takes in, has a next value and a data. And then just to make our lives easier, we'll add in a constructor and set that value. Okay, so the first method we'll wanna implement is an append method. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Append is going to take in a data value, and then it's going to have some pointer that starts off with the, at the current node, so the head of the linked list. And then it's going to walk through the linked list until we get to the end of the linked list. Well, how do we know that we're not at the end of the linked list? Well, we're not at the end of the linked list as long as there's something after it. So in other words, while current.next is not equal null, keep moving get to the end of the linked list. Then when we get down to the end of the linked list, create this new node. If we prepend an element, we're going to actually change what the head node is. Now this makes a little bit of an issue because we could have multiple places in our code base that all link to the same head. But if we change the head in one place, how does everybody else know that our head value changed? So the workaround for this, is rather than giving everybody an access to the head pointer directly, we define a class linked list that's basically going to wrap our head. And then this append method can go where it probably should have from the beginning, which is in this linked list class. And let's just update this because the current node should actually point to the head. And what's nice here is that we can also add in the case if the head is null. So we can say if the head is null, then actually we just want to create the head. So if head is null, head equals new node data, and then we can just return because now we're done with that. All right, prepending is relatively easy now. We just need to, so it's going to be void again, prepend taken data. Now, the way this method will work is that we're going to create actually a new head value. So node new head equals new node data. Then new head's next value is going to link over to the old head. And then we need to change the head pointer. For our final operation, let's implement a method delete that deletes the first node that has a particular value. So first we'll just declare our method void delete with value that takes in a data, a piece of data. Okay. Now 
if head is null, we know we just want to return immediately. There's nothing we can do there. Now, what delete with value is going to do is it can, is it's going to walk through the linked list and it's going to stop one before the element we want to delete. And then it's going to say, uh oh, the very next element you want to delete. So I'm going to actually just update my pointers to work around it. So my next pointer is going to be that deleted values next pointer. So let's see how this works. So first we'll have this little current method that walks through the linked list. And then we're going to walk through as long as we're not at the last element. So we don't want to run off the edge of the linked list. Okay. Now if current dot next dot data equals the data we're trying to delete. So in other words, if the next value is the one you want to delete, then cut out that last, that next value. So then current dot next equals current dot next and next. And then we return. So what this is doing is saying, okay, if the next value you want to delete, don't go to that element and just walk around it. Set my next pointer to be my next pointer's next pointer. So walk around it. And then in other cases, we just move on to the next element. Now there's one case we want to be very careful of here, which is what happens if the node we want to delete is actually the head node. This will actually cause a problem in our current scenario because we need to actually update the head value. So we can just special case that if head dot data is the data we want to delete, then head equals head dot next. That is just cut me out of the link list. So now let's take a look at what our method does. So first it takes in this data and then says, okay, if head is null return, there's nothing we can do. If we need to delete the head, then just go and delete it set head equal to head dot next, set equal to the next value. Otherwise walk through the linked list, starting at the head value. Then as long as you know, walk up until the next value is the one we want to delete. In which case we say, okay, set current dot next, my next pointer over to the next, next value. And then we return. Uh, otherwise we continue walking through the linked list. So those are the basic operations for deleting, inserting, uh, both appending and prepending into a linked list. Now that you've seen the basic operations, why don't you give it a shot on a new linked list problem?